So hello everybody, this is Greg from Crivex. We've just released a new template for Lightspeed called Visual Theme. And since you're watching this tutorial, you've probably installed it and want to get started. So in the back end of your shop, go to Design, then you'll end up in this menu. Click on Theme Editor and then you'll be able to personalize your theme. We've tried to regroup all the different options because there's a lot in two different categories. First one, core settings, template organization, color settings, and so on. So we're just passing through the options that you might need to get started quickly. And if you want to go further, you can also try to look on uh, into our guides, which will be published on our website, cryfix.com. So to get started, you can upload a logo down here. What you have to do is basically upload your logo under Tools, Files, Upload Image. You got a, a URL down here. Copy this URL. Go back to Personalized Theme and copy this lo logo URL down here. Make sure that the image is, image is in PNG format and make sure that it's the correct size. Then you can choose how many categories you want to display on the front page, on the home page, how many products you want to display on the home page, how many brand images you want to display on the home page. You can choose whether you want to activate boxed view this actually limits the width of your shop to 1200 pixels, so it's not dependent on screen size. However, I would suggest you keep this deactivated. Theme Customizer. I would suggest to keep this deactivated as well, unless you have further knowledge of HTML and CSS, because this opens up uh, some other custom theme options, which will be explained in another the tutorial Hoover image then Hoover image is a pretty cool future which is demanded by quite a few clients now you can upload the way you uploaded a logo a Hoover image so every time you Hoover with your mouse over an image or category or brand your image pops up this makes your web shop even further unique you can choose to display the home navigation button and the blog navigation button. Then when we go further down, we've developed the template organization builder. Here you can choose between different headers and footers and which elements you want to feature on the home page. For now, it's only possible to deactivate or activate elements, not ordering. More header and footer styles will be available further down the year. And make sure that you subscribe to our support newsletter to stay updated so when we go further down we get color settings to really quickly change the looks and feels of your site change the active link color and hoover color the action button color you got some more custom colors for the header for the footer as well we use Google Fonts, so you can choose for three main text types, the font, slider settings, for the slider on the home page, and here are all the options for the different pages, and the social settings, and the footer settings. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. I hope this will give you a head start. And don't hesitate to contact us if you have any more questions.